Hey guys, welcome back to another Alice Fiction video. Um, it's been a while, uh, a couple weeks I'm pretty sure. Um, we really haven't had anything going on in the game lately. It's kind of been, a, like I would say, a couple dead few weeks. Um, we haven't had any like, big news happen or anything crazy going on or any events or anything like that. So I've kind of just kept things low key and very minimal um, and trying to work on some other content for other games, um, but yeah. But today we do have some information um, about some new stuff coming to the game, new story, um, and then as well as some campaigns that we're gonna be getting to go over. So let's get on into it. So the first bit of news here is gonna be that we're getting chapter 10 of the story, that's getting added into the game, um, which is great because if you read chapter nine, if you played through it, then you would know we all, we kind of stopped on a cliffhanger, which really sucked. I think it was like Musashi got injured by the Soul Gojer or something. And so we were like, no, we're gonna go find it. And we're gonna keep going. Um, so we left Musashi behind to be, um, after she got healed by uh, Asclepius, and then we're moving on now to go, assumably, fight the Soul Gorger, hopefully for the last time, and hopefully we get to a climax or get to the end of that whole section of the story. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, but chapter 10 of the story is coming. Um, looks like it should be coming on the 19th um, of this month. So rather soon, what, and like here in like three days? Yeah. So we're going to be getting that. Also, this background is really nice. It might also be the background for this video for the uh, thumbnail. So, you know, who knows? But... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so Tap 9 is coming on the 19th, guys. Um, I'm excited because I've been really wanting to see, because I was really mad, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I was really getting into where the story was going, and then they stopped this right there, and I was really upset, so I'm happy we're going we're gonna to get some more here soon. So an additional feature, I guess you could say, that we're gonna be getting is the new skill called Panel Destroyer. Um, and it says here, a pawn that appears in chapter 10 will attack in ways never seen before. It will use a skill called Panel Destroyer in which each turn it'll destroy marked panels when it's when it is the enemy's turn um as you can see right here in the graphic down below from the fight here um it's got those one one two three four five five of those orbs panels are going to get crushed um so it won't be able to be used um, which is really interesting because i wonder if it's just going to take them out of your lineup at the beginning of your turn um and then you just have those the other what four slots to use i don't know if that's or if it's going to replace them with completely new orbs i don't know i'm curious to see what, what that's going to look like um but that's pretty cool it adds an extra layer of strategy to the game um and it just makes the you know things a little bit harder for us um because the stories chap story fights have relatively not been i would say that hard um so this just adds another extra layer of difficulty which is really good to see so i'm happy to see that so getting into all the campaigns that we have coming um this one i'm excited for right here first of all mostly the art look at this art look at russo she looks so good. Hopefully this is like an actual world memory. I really hope it is. I, I would love to see this um, in a world memory form for sure to see what it does. Um, but we first one that we have here is the new chapter added immerse campaign. Um, immerse yourself into the story campaign. I'll say that. Um, it says participate in the campaign to get up to 4,600 courts. Um, use the opportunity to get ahead in the main story. So not too bad. It's a campaign that we're going to get 4,600 courts, which is basically one ten pool and a half, and then some, so can't be mad about that. That's, you know, free gems is free gems. We love that. Um, it says here, the climactic battle with the Soul Gorger is upon us to go along with the release of the main chapter's quest 10, um, chapter 10, we will be holding the Immerse in the Story campaign, um, which is also going to be starting here on the 19th and going to go all the way until the 29th, so just 10 days. Um, so I'm wondering if it's, in total, we're going to be getting... 4600 quarts, but you're going to be getting it through, I believe, through these other minor campaigns that we've got here and there. Here it says gifts for reading the story. Um, so based on your progression through the main quest, normal, on the normal mode anyway, um, by 929, um, you can receive as many as 1000 quarts. Additionally, the drop amount for normal quests will be doubled during the time as well, so don't miss out. So it's really good to see too, because that way if you have any characters that don't have, like, they're not up to grade 8 or any higher, or even 5 at the very least, this is a good way to go ahead and get those materials we're going to have double the rewards anyway um so that's really really good i personally been looking for this because i've got several characters i need to get graded up to at least eight um and i want to keep some of the lower end ones probably around five because ones that i'm just not using um right now currently but whatever helps to get everyone built up you know so the breakdown here is we're going to have it on chapter Chapter 2, 15, um, 4, 17, 6, 16, 8, 18, and 10, 17. I'm wondering if it's just 
go back through and read the story for those really quickly and you get 200 quarts per one or do you have to play through the entire thing i'm pretty sure it's just going to be though just the one i don't think they would make anyone actually go through and read the entire thing if that was a requirement to go through um chapter by chapter like that so it's probably just going to be that last stage right there um for the story anyway on each one of those chapters there um but we can get up to a thousand quarts so that's good love to see that um let's see what we got next is the um immerse in the story login bonus so typical login event login for seven days you're gonna get 100 gems per day so equaling out to the 700 um but it also goes off from the 19th to the 29th so even if you miss some days here and there you're gonna have a way to still get all these gems here so that's good too so it looks like here we're gonna have some campaign exclusive missions so different things that we can do daily um for the time frame of the campaign which is gonna be the same thing 919 up until the 29th of September. Um, so it looks like you can clear limited da time daily missions to get rewards daily, such as character tickets and much more. Um, so this one says we can get up to, on the banner, it says we can get up to 10 character tickets. There's some courts there as well too. I'm sure we're gonna have some courts here and there. Um, this looks like to be the breakdown of the missions um, and what we can get on each one. Um, so looks like we got limited time, clear main quests, um, times 15. Is it clear 15 main story quests? Is that what it is? And then, gotcha. So clear 15, we get the file battle records. Clear 20, you get the memory keys. Clear 30 quests, you get 20 player XP. Not a whole lot, honestly. Should be more. Um, the amount of the amount of stamina you probably waste to do 30 missions uh, to do to do 30 quests is nowhere nowhere equal to 20 player EXP. But hey, whatever. Um, and then we do 40 missions, you're gonna get 100 quarts. And then for 50, we're gonna get um, a character ticket for every time. So if we get up to 10, these are gonna be daily. I'm assuming. Um, so is it going to be daily, like do a daily of 50 story missions? Is that what it is to get all of that? Like you're going to have to do story missions 50 times just to get all of these, right? I mean, that's what makes sense where, cause you have 10 days for the event. So we'd have to do 50 main story quests to get, oh, wow. At least that's how I'm reading it anyway. That's crazy. I mean, I get it. If you want the max reward, if you got the stamina to push for that, then sure, you know? So it looks like we're gonna have some energy rewards. So use up your energy, which you're gonna have to for that stuff above. Um, use your energy and get extravagant rewards. Energy rewards begin. So it looks like here for using the energy we're gonna, we can get at the very height of it, I guess, is going to be a five-star world memory, which is great. Love to see that, need those. I know I'm missing a, quite a few. Um, so hopefully I can get some new ones and not some dupes, but I, you know, dupes are fine too. So it's all good. I imagine we'll probably get some quartz given from the, the banner here as well in addition to the general exchange so during the campaign only silver fragments will be available in the general exchange so that's good so the, the exchange that we do every single day um those like two or three that we can buy that are the regular enhancements for fragments the bronze ones we're gonna be able to get silver ones which is really good need those i wonder if we can spam those because normally what i do when i do the exchange i usually because we have a bunch of cores you like you shouldn't be broke on cores in my opinion um since we have so much i run it until I think I refresh it up until it goes up to 200,000 for the refresh, and then I stop. Um, so you get about maybe five or six refreshes at that point. Um, but yeah, so that's not bad. You can stock up on some silver fragments, so that's really good. Um, definitely need that. Hopefully they change some of the other rewards as well. Hopefully some higher tier um, of the grade materials, that would be nice, because uh, those are pretty hard to come by as well. Um, and of course, as we said earlier, we're gonna have the double drop amount for normal quests. So the amount of expansion items and credits you receive after clearing main quests on the normal mode will be doubled during this time. Now's your chance to get those items needed to enhance your characters. So again, this whole time frame from the 919 up until the 29th, best time to start building your characters. Um, I've been waiting for a double event like this myself personally to get some characters built up. So I'm excited to see this. Um, of course, you get a whole bunch more player EXP. We're gonna get um, stuff for bond as well, all those things. So definitely gonna help out in the long run for anyone that's like struggling to get some characters built now will be the time to do it for sure so in addition to getting the double drop for the normal quest we're also going to have a double drop rate for the resource quest which is really really good um for people who just have the the basic resources where you just get the three times to do it if you don't buy the battle pass i think to get the full six um 
so you have a way to get double the rewards this time around so that's really good um for the for the three times you're going to do the credits and then the, the exp um for anyone that has the battle pass like, like myself included um we'll be able to get the double rewards on the six times that we do it so honestly really great for credits Ooh, super nice even though we don't you know credits aren't aren't really far and few but that's fine <laughs> So this one here seems to be a social media campaign. Um, it says the story quiz begins, it says take the quiz on Twitter and get up to a thousand quarts. Um, let's see, it says the answer to the trivia questions on Twitter and receives up to a thousand quarts. For more details, be on the lookout for the story quiz article. Okay, cool. So they'll probably post an article here in the game news, I imagine, as well on their Twitter page. So if you're not following their official Twitter, definitely go ahead and do that. Um, I know I have the link for their Twitter down below in the description. Um, so we'll have it there if you want to click over to go ahead and follow them. That way you'll be on the lookout, set your notifications on because chances are you'll probably miss it if you don't. Um, normally they post, at least for me, they post a lot at the, I want to say 11 p.m. EST is when they post on Twitter uh, for my time frame. So be on the lookout for that so you can start to look and getting your chances in to get in those courts we're also going to get some new packs it says here new value packs that story immersion value packs we're going to be getting um so along to go with the story campaign we're going to be getting the a couple different packs as well too now it says value so i'm wondering if it's going to be um relatively quote unquote affordable packs i'll say that um with the air quotes because affordable means different things different for different people obviously so um but again if the rewards are great that's you know that's good too so we'll see what those are specifically when the time comes here in a couple days but i've got uh not the highest of hopes <laughs> in terms of affordable affordability versus if it's actually worth it um yeah they, so on the banner we're looking at credits and energy and some uh world world memory enhancement fragments which is cool and all i don't think that's something that i'd want to pay for though myself personally speaking anyway but we'll see and then it looks like here we're going to get the second season for the alice member pass um which is a, a easy way to get some free rewards um it says the alice member pass second season for 2022 is going to begin on 918 um, whenever you use energy you can receive member medals that are used to exchange for various items in the alice member pass exchange if you purchase the alice gold pass not only can you receive an exclusive world memory and courts, but you can also unlock a special exchange. Um, each season will bring a new exclusive world memory to exchange for, so don't miss out. Um, and it looks like here below, we're gonna see the world memory here. Yeah, it looks like we've got Lancelot and, okay, this is like, someone told me this is, uh, it's not controversial, but this is me, me just thinking about it. I've always said Vivian for the the blue <laughs> the blue haired girl in the back. It just makes sense to me. But then I heard someone on, on another video say Vivane, and I was like, "There's no way." <laughs> There's, that's a whole side topic. But let me know what how you guys say it below. Um, I'm for me, I'm sticking to Vivian. That's what's that's what's in my heart. Um, so we've got this world memory here, um, where it says secret favorite read, um, which it's cute. I like it. Not one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, it's got Lancelot and it's also got um, Vivian on it. It looks like it's just going to be here for a special attacker. Um, we've been getting a lot of special attack memories, I feel like. I don't know what it is with this anti-physical attacker hate, <laughs> but it feels like we've been getting a whole bunch of special attack memories lately. Um, so maybe we'll see some more in the future for the physical ones. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I just, right now it just seems like we're getting a whole bunch of different special attack ones. Now I know the one from the last pass, I believe it was crit rate anyway. So as far as the Alice pass goes, then sure that makes sense that we're doing something different. But in general, we've been getting a bunch of, I would say special attack um, featured or centered uh, world memories lately. At least just meshes me. That's the feeling that I've been getting. Um, if you think the same, let me know too as well, what you guys think about that. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, it just says here that when a special attack type has this equipped, um, you'll boost special attack and boost special defense by 18.9%. And when the special attack is up, it'll also give plus 31.5% for physical attack type Slayer. Um, of course, this is all when it's maxed out for the world memory. These are all stats at the very highest they can go. So it's not the base stats, obviously, level 60 and fully, and when it's fully limit broken, that's what it's gonna look like. Um, but yeah, but it's still pretty cool. You know, more, more memories to help out our characters and more memories to use like in Team Hunt. So, because you know, we get the one time at one at a time. So whatever, however ways we can stack up, 
more damage on the characters, I'm here for it too. Um, as someone that doesn't really have a dedicated good special attack team, this does nothing for me, but it's all good. But happy to see it nonetheless. That is going to be it for me, everybody. That's going to be it for the video. Um, let me know what you think about the next update we're going to be getting in a couple days. Um, if you're excited about Chapter 10, finally excited like me to get hopefully the climax of what's happening with the White Soul Golger. Hopefully that part will be done. I'm sure we're going to have more later on about some more stuff that's going on. But I'm happy to hopefully finally get that chapter to a close. Um, that part of the story anyway, that arc, if you will. We'll say that. Um, as well as any of the new campaigns that we're going to be getting along with... Um, the new story being added let me know how you feel about that down below guys and of course too if you guys have any suggestions for any sort of content that you want to see let me know down below i would greatly appreciate it again i know i normally just focus on like news and updates but if there's anything particular people are wanting to see i don't mind potentially opening it up the roster for like uh new things um it's for, as far as video ideas um i know right now I'm, i talked about it earlier looking at possibly doing some character reviews that might possibly happen so we'll look into that possibly as well um as well i'll still be doing my uh reactions over live on my twitch um which you can follow me down there link below for uh kind of my reactions live anyway if you want to read along with me for chapter 10 i'm sure i'll be doing a live stream for that um as well as any event stories that we get in the future as well too um but that's going to be it for me guys and i will see you on the next video take care